Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five bags that I would purchase if I was starting my collection at this moment or if I was starting all over again. So the idea from this video came from Cassie Thorpe. When I saw that, I was like, that is brilliant because honestly, I've honestly been just thinking that. I'm like, okay, what are bags that I would get right now, right now in this moment, even if they're bags in my collection. So yeah, let me just show you guys or share with you guys the bags that I would get. And I actually have them written down right here just in case I forgot. So I actually categorized these bags. Okay, so let's start off with an everyday bag. And an everyday bag that I would purchase in this moment would be the Chanel 19 and I know for some they're like you would really wear a Chanel bag every single day yes this bag I would honestly wear every single day for multiple reasons it's easy I have the Chanel jumbo and I feel like it's a little bit heavy I know some people you'll see videos where they're like okay Chanel jumbos are really really heavy I wouldn't say it's really really heavy but for a handbag it's pretty heavy and it's a little bit of work to kind of get into because there are two flaps so once you open it better yet let me just show you so here's my Chanel jumbo let me show you really quickly so once you open it that's not it right so you have this and then to get in you honestly have to open the second flap right here which I know you're like yeah but it's it's quick but even though it's just a second or a millisecond it's still extra work that you have to put in so in this moment for an everyday bag I would definitely get the Chanel 19 and I'm actually um, working on getting a Chanel 19 I love my jumbo I just don't reach for it as much I just feel like also because I just have it's it's a lot to try to get into this bag um but yeah the Chanel 19 would be one of the five bags that I would get at this moment and it would be an everyday bag because it's easy. It's a single flap. You open it. I love how soft the leather is. It's just something that just seems casual, fun, and everyday. Okay, so the second category that I would think of if I'm starting a collection or if I'm just starting all over again would be a travel bag. So what bag would I purchase that would travel perfectly. And that bag for me would be the Telfar handbag. And this is in the large, and because of how big it is, it would be my travel bag. It's just so easy, so carefree. I know sometimes you get, or you see people with like, um, Louis Vuitton I actually use my Neverfull as or I did use my Neverfull as a travel bag but I'm switching over to this um, sometimes you just worry with the leather okay am I damaging it or any bag that just seems so not carefree um, but this bag is just so carefree guys and look at the space in this thing it's just so huge it's so easy it's so deep guys I don't even know if the camera is picking up how big this bag is like this is my body and this is the bag it's just huge it's perfect for travel so if I was starting all over again I would definitely definitely start off with a bag like this for travel next category um, I would think about would be a bag to go out with um, something that I could just grab most of the times and for me that bag would be the Louis Vuitton Scott box or box Scott guys this actually goes with any and every outfit and that's because of the acrylic aspect of this bag um if you wanted to add color if you just wanted to bring your outfit together more with this bag I would just say add things to your bag that adds or or complements your outfit um but definitely if i was starting my collection all over in this moment i would purchase a uh, louis vuitton scott box and on here um i actually shared i have a video on what i used to um or what piece i took from my other louis vuitton handbag um to create this strap for this bag right here the next category I would think about when if I'm starting my collection all over would be a mini bag because in this moment because we're talking about in this moment at this time um, mini bags are in 
and for me the bag that i would purchase the bag that i would add to my collection would be the brandon blackwood esr tote bag and believe it or not even though for me i could i would consider this a mini bag i would also consider this an everyday bag so if you really wanted to purchase one bag to knock out two categories i would say get the brandon blackwood esr tote bag um and if you're not into canvas because this is a canvas bag um they also have this bag in satin satin and they also have other mini bags um when it comes to the brandon blackwood handbags but guys this is definitely something that i would add to my collection for me, and I've stated this in the video where I unbox this, there's just so much meaning behind the ESR, the End Systemic Racism um, bag, but also it's just something that's practical, guys. It comes with a strap so you can wear it crossbody. It's mini, so it just fits your essentials. So you can pick, you can fit your keys, your wallet, um, your phone, things like that. But definitely something that you can also use as an everyday handbag lastly a category that would be something that's trendy but also classic um i would say trendy but also classic because i don't want to or i wouldn't put too much money into something that's just trendy right you want something that's trendy or trending at this moment um but also something that'll last you a long time and for me that would be the louis vuitton toiletry 26 and even though i know sometimes it's hard to get your hands on these like in the actual louis vuitton store always remember guys that you can purchase things pre-loved guys this bag you've probably seen it um all over instagram and it's not only this year last year it's been a few years now um so something that's classic but also trendy um but this guys fits so much you can do so much with this kind of pouch and i do not regret purchasing it at all um and like i said something that i would definitely if i was starting all over again something that i would get my hands on would definitely be this toiletry 26 I've shared this before, but I have um, a little organizer in the inside, and then sometimes I turn it into a crossbody bag by just using this strap right here. But something, guys, that you could, or if you're starting all over, or if you're starting all over, if you're just starting a new collection, something that you should definitely consider is this toiletry 26 right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. And I'm just going to insert my intro as, as an outro. Uh, my name is Carla. I make videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, then please subscribe down below. See you in the next video, guys.